let's quickly look at the connection on solar panels on a string so yeah you've got solar panels you want to put it in a string how do we normally connect them let's quickly see say it was 50 volt uh, vdc um, panels with 10 amps so you will place them on the on the roof you will you will place them and then you will connect them so normally the mc4s the positive to the negative and the positive to the negative and then you get the combiner box so the first one will be 50 volts then you will put the second one that will make it 100 volts to 150 could keep on connecting 200 volts amp stays the same and then you get to all of them and then you get to 350 volts vdc now you'll see your ends will be on the one side the 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 uh, that wire that will be the uh the negative and the positive but see that wire see how long is it it's unequal so yeah so we're gonna go and have a look on the uh, cross connection on pv panels so we're gonna have a look at that so what you will do is you will basically um how can i say you will nip one slip one so let's quickly have a look on it so what's the difference the disadvantages here is quite a few the extended length of the negative wire um, it needs uh, for additional cable clips and tightening and make you know you always have these you will always wonder why these panels has these long wires but this is why um, and then yeah you've got your maintenance challenges as well if they move it and then they will put it down they can pinch it so yeah your cable management is very very difficult but you do get some panels i know the longies they fit next to one another and they've got a perfect fit so they won't work here but uh let's just see uh, how we're going to do the cross connection on the panels so you're going to put the panels on as previously and then you're going to start at the one end and then you're going to skip one so the first one will be 50 volts vdc and you'll see yeah so you're gonna the cables is long enough that's why they are longer than normally we have to tighten them again and make them a circle and it doesn't look neat so yeah let's just see you skip the one to the other one and you get 100 volts to the 150 and then you get to the 200 and then you will go back with the same mc4 connections um just see then you go to the other string and you came all the way back to 250 volt dc 300 350 exactly the same um but now you've got the ends here with one another see the wires are almost equal you don't have to come all the way back tightening all that long wire all the way so yeah maybe you say okay it doesn't work out let's put one another panel on then we do the same the first one will be 50 nip one slip one go to the other one connect the mc4s you'll see the wires is long enough and you can make it much more neater get to the other side and now let's just go to that panel and then we're gonna go back now you're just gonna skip one come all the way back with your mc4 connections come all the way back and you know how i feel about the mc4 connections on these ends you do take them off so that you have exactly the same mc4 connections there you just go into the box into your pv combiner box cables are all the same length neatly no long wire you have to put on either clips or cable tie it all the way together that can pinch um, so yeah there's lots of advantages on these cross connections um, you know uh, there's just a few of them um, it, it took me a while to get to this when i was installing and yeah since then it was much easier you get all um, it's a much neater and lots of advantages so hopefully it helps somebody that you can do that um, like i say the longer panels doesn't really work on them now but all the other canadian ja all of those you'll see they curl it up and they 
put a cable tie now we just use those same cable ties and just connect them all together and that's wrong um, that's why they are longer so yeah really hope that helped